Hello viewers, my name is Ole Guchigoze from OCI City Center. In this very video demo, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, publish SCOM into learning management system. For the demo purpose, I'm going to make use of Moodle LMS in our local server, okay? Now, let me show you the content that I'm going to publish as a SCOM into um, learning management system. Now, this is a standard uh, HTML uh, content, a quiz I created using one of the authoring tools. Right to, there are several authoring tools that you can use to create e learning and quizzes. Uh, for example, let me show you one of it. This is a storyline. You can create your course in a storyline and publish it as a SCOM content that uh, you can track the user's experience in a learning management system. And uh, after you might have created your e-learning content or quiz, you can hit on publish. Now, you choose LMS. LMS stands for Learning Management System. Here, these are the output uh, options here, which uh, have different kind, uh, different standard of report, okay? Now, for the demo papers, uh, there is uh, two versions of uh, SCOM. SCOM stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. Uh, it is one of the tracking um, standard learning uh, content that you can use to track the user's activities uh, in LMS, okay? Now, the latest version is COM 2004. Um, I will not go into detail on show, uh, telling you more about these things. There is a separate video that I created that explain all these things one after another. Okay, so after you might have published your content into learning uh, into SCOM, it is going to publish as a zip file and it 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 uh, it it contain what is known as manifest file and this is what the LMS uses to track every activities within the content right now let me show you the content i have already published now this is um this is the package here this is it is already packaged as um as com content and uh, it is uh it contain all the files all right okay the authoring tools will publish uh the um scum content for you you don't need to do any uh any other thing all you need to do is just to create your content and publish it as scum now to upload it to learning management system i'm going to launch my lms all right now this is a module lms it is running on a local server i need to log in to in order to add any content or edit your uh, work within any management system you need to log in as admin so i'm going to log in as admin and um going to type my username and a password and login now i just type my username and password now i'm going to log in now okay i've already logged in as admin and now i have you can um i have administ administrative right to edit any of this content you can click on this very gear icon here and click on editing on okay and um, you can start editing content now uh, i'm going to add this uh, very 
uh, scrum content as part of a core this is the demo course i have here fundamental of computer i'm going to open it now this is the how it look like now so to add this content i need to turn the editing on so on the uh, top here you can see turn editing on so this it, uh, this uh, interface may look different depending on the uh, team that your uh, LMS is using right so you can see every content is non editable i can add activity i'll uh, add more content i'll edit existing ones okay now i'm going to add this com content as a separate um as a as a topic okay so i'm going to click on this um very pen icon beside the topic for and i can add title okay uh, just type week four assessment so uh, i after i need to hit the enter key so it has updated this content now uh, to add this com content i need to add it as activity under activity i click on this activity here there are several activities but our major concern now is com package going to select this com and click add right here i'm going to give it a name this com content i need to give it a name so okay you can add description can add description and this is where you can place a uh, scum content there are two ways of adding this content either you click on this icon add so here you are going to browse the folder where the content is stored right or Another way of uh, doing it is to open the folder. Now this is my SCOM content. I'm going to drag it and place it on the location. You can see now it has been updated automatically. Now that the file has been uh, placed into this very directory, I'm going to show you the the most important uh, features that you need to set up here. Now you can set the appearance. You can select new window or current window, but uh, using the current window is advisable. So the content of the scum will display on the current window. Now availability. Uh, you can set the the date you want this to be available. Okay, if you if you tick on enable here, you can set the date. Okay, I'm going to tick off. So it is based on your preferences. Now you can also set available to that is the end date for this particular uh, content. So by clicking on or check marking this um, uh, enable here, you can be able to set when this content will expire. Okay, I'm going to turn it off also. Um, now, grade. I have already set the grade in the SCOM content, but uh, it is advisable you leave it to the highest score and the uh, maximum grade is 100 percent now attempt status you can set the number of attempt if you want the users to attempt it only once if it is a test it is appropriate to allow it for um, one attempt but if it is a remediation a test probably you can allow unlimited unlimited attempt 
okay so let's assume that this is a, a test uh, we now allow only one attempt now attempt grading is not uh, its highest attempt but if I select second uh, attempt if I allow two attempts what happened here is that the highest attempt is going to be graded okay if I if the user answer these questions for the first time and score let's say 50 percent and uh, since it is two attempt it is going to record the 50 percent but if the user now attempt the uh, this content again second times and um, let's say the person score 70 percent the highest grade is 70 percent which will be uh, reported okay so that is the if only this point this uh, attempt grading is uh, available only if you select more than one attempt but if it is unlimited attempt it is also available but if it is only one attempt it will be graded out because uh, only the one attempt will be reported if you want to force new attempt you can select this okay now uh, those are the most important section to consider while uh, publishing your content into SCOM I mean into learning management system in a model now I'm going to save and display this content so you will see how it uh, view how it appears now there is two options here to preview or normal now in a preview mode you only uh, it the report or the content is not going to be reported but you can preview it and see how all these things display uh, for the user right let me click on enter okay can see now it has uh, display the content of this um, scum and uh, probably everything is uh, working exactly the way I wanted it can see can now what happened here is that my username has been uh, populated from the LMS okay unlike the HTML content here this is just the HTML content and this is the SCOM content that has been published into learning management system and that is exactly how to uh, publish um, SCOM content into learning management system so it uh, this um, process may differ depending on the learning management system that you are using if you want to learn more about LMS do contact me and uh, you will, I will give you brief uh, maybe if you have a specific LMS other proprietary LMS uh, you there are different ways of uh, getting content into LMS depending on the on the company that um, own that particular LMS okay uh, but for Moodle this is the simple step to follow and uh, get your content running all right in the part two of this video I uh, will show you how to uh, track the content within this learning management system right thank you I remain Ole Wuchigoze from OCI City Center mm -hmm.